Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. So in this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add the armor render to your armor that we added in the last episode. So what you want to do is you want to go into your armor class, and under there, what we want to do is we want to type in a method called public string get armor. So we want to type in public space string space get armor get armor if I can spell this right get armor texture and then inside the arguments what we want to do is type in item stack space stack then comma entity space entity and then space int space slot another comma and then string type and at the end of that new lines quickly brackets open them up and then you want to highlight, actually, press Control shift 0 um, Control shift 0 and then if you get this coming up, double click on this net.minecraftentity.entity .entity, and then you'll notice that it needs a return statement so what we're just going to do there is just for now return null and then we're also going to do an at override above this method here just to make sure um, well, basically, it just lets us know if in the future, uh, in the future, if Minecraft's code actually changes, uh, this will give us an error and will let us know what methods we actually have to change. But just do it anyway for good practice. Now, inside of here, we're going to create a switch statement. Now, this is probably something you haven't seen before, but um, it's something that you can do in Java. So you want to type switch brackets, and inside of those brackets, type this dot armor type. I'm pretty sure this is going to um, get us the correct values. So new line, squiggly bracket, open that. And that should get rid of that error. Then what we want to do is type in case 0, um, two dots like that. Then next line, type in break. Actually, we're not going to type in that. We're going to type in case 1, two dots, new line, case 2, two dots, and then case 3, two dots. Now before we continue on to this next bit, what we've actually got to do is create some textures. So again, I'll provide a template for these textures which you guys can use. So I've created some texture files and you have to use two separate files for this which is really silly. I don't know why they didn't just put it into one. Um, but here we've got our armor and you can copy this template. It actually has to be exactly like this. Uh, I'm not sure what the boundaries are on the renders here. Um, but you can play around with the textures, but these are the positions that um, in default Minecraft they are in. So I'll upload these, you can download these templates. And what you want to do is, is you want to save them. But what we need to do is we need to create a new folder. Now I'm just going to delete this um, just for purposes. So what you want to do is go over to your um, resources over here. Open up your assets, TM, go into your textures, click on textures click on new Java package and then at the end of that type models.models.armor now don't include a U there if you spell it like that don't put that there because it won't work press finish and then you want to drag your textures so we got this cheese layer 1 drag it to over here onto models.armor and then where's our second one I don't think I saved this right. And drag our second one here, choose layer 2, onto models to armor there. Press OK. And I've discovered we actually don't need this. I thought we did, but we don't need it actually. So that was a waste of time actually. But yeah, oh well. Now, we need to do just a special case here. Actually, the first thing that we're going to do is instead of returning now, what we're going to do is two quotations like that. I'm going to type in our mod ID. So ours is... TM here, so type in your mod ID, so TM, then two dots like that, type in textures, forward slash models, forward slash armor, armor, forward slash, and then the name of the file. So we're going to type in our first layer here, so cheese layer one, cheese underscore layer, oops, layer underscore one dot png at the end there 
press save, but we need to do a special case because this doesn't include the leggings. So what we need to do is above there, type if type equals equals two. I'm going to do new line, set squiggly brackets like that. Is this? Oh no, this is a string. Hold on. Um, we'll do this dot armor type. So you type that in this dot armor type equals equals two. Then what we're to do is copy this here, put inside there, and we'll return layer two. Press save. And then if we run our game now, you will see we've got our armor texture applied to our character. So it is simple as that setting the armor texture. So that's basically going to be it for this tutorial today. Um, it was simply just getting that armor texture to work. In the next one, we're going to go over the crafting recipes. And then after that, we're going to work on ore generation. So make sure you stick around. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Remember to leave a like too. And subscribe. And love me. And send me billion dollars. Thanks. Nah. See ya.